Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. Today I have came with the good news that the government has now declared that they will give the assignment English translation for the English students. This is a good news for the English person students. So I have already given class 6 assignment. Now I am going, I came here for class 7 English person students. So let's start with the assignment. So this is the first assignment. The object is mathematics. So let's start. So assignment number one, assignment title, chapter one, rational and irrational numbers. Concept of rational and irrational numbers, determining square roots of defined types of numbers. Here we can see the learning outcomes. Number one, identify rational and irrational numbers. Number two, Determine the square roots by the methods of factorization and division. Number three, solve real life problems by applying the methods of determining the square roots. So, we have seen the learning outcomes. Now, we'll go through the guidelines for the assignment. While arranging 1080 students of Amina Begum High School for the daily assembly, the teacher found out that they cannot be assembled in a form, assembled in a form of a square. Number A, root 24, root 7, 0, 5, root 25 by 16. Identify the rational and irrational numbers and write down the logic. Number B, at least how many students should be added to assemble the students group in the form of square. Number C, what is the smallest integer by which the number of students can be divided to get a perfect square number. Number D, Determine the square root of the number of students up to two decimal places. So, we have seen the guidelines for the assessment. Now, we'll go through the assessment rubrics. Indicators. The, here are the questions and here are the performance criteria. For A question is identifying rational and irrational numbers with logic. This is a three marks question. If the logic behind being rational and irrational numbers are written, for two marks, if all rational and irrational numbers are identified. For one mark, if any of the two rational or irrational numbers are identified. Now, B question. Determining the number of new students by assembling the students in a square form. This is a three marks question. If the number of students to be determined. For two marks, if the root square root is only determined. For one mark, if the formula of square root determination is correctly written. Now, for C question. Determining the least perfect square number by using the method of determination of the square root. This is also a 3 marks question. For 3, if the smallest number is determined. For 2, if the square if the square root is determined. For 1, if the formula of square root determination is correctly written. For D question, determining the square root through that method of division. This is a 4 marks question. If the square root is determined up to 2 decimal places, for 3 marks, if the square root is determined up to 2 to 3 decimal places, for 1 mark, if the formula of square root is not correct, sorry, for 2 marks, and for 1 mark, if the pair of number of if the pair numbers of square root is determination is written correctly. So, assignment number of assignment is 13. So, this year, for the betterment of marking, here we have got marking range and comment. According to the marking, we will get comments. I mean, students will get the comments. So, here, 8 to 10, we will get excellent. For 6 to 7.9, we will get good. For 4 to 5.9, we will get average. For, for below 4, we will get needs improvement. So, students, this is the assignment rubrics. And also, this is the assignment of mathematics of class 7 students. Now, we'll go to the next one. So, students, this is your another assignment. Subject is science. So, let's start. So, assignment number 1, chapter 1, lower organisms. Assignment title, role of microorganisms in creating health hazards and creating awareness. Prepare a report including the role of any two of the organisms that are, according to you, responsible for the health hazards of your family members. You will also include what you can do raise, to raise awareness for preventing and curing this microorganism. This is not an assignment title. This is just a description. 
but you will write the first one and you can write it by yourself there is no restriction now we'll go through the learning outcomes learners will be able to describe the characteristics of virus bacteria and amoeba explain the role of a virus bacteria and intermovia in creating health hazards in human body explain the prevention and remedy of the health hazards in any human body caused by virus bacteria and intermovia in curing these health hazards the themselves will be aware as well as make others aware now we'll go through the guidelines for the assessment assessment the following steps are to be followed while writing the assessment Number A mentioning the names of two microorganisms and describing their characteristics number B describing the roles of two microorganisms in creating health hazards number C describing the preventive measures against health hazards caused by microorganisms now we will go through the assessment rubrics here are the indicators A question is mentioning the names and natures of two microorganisms for four marks if the names of two microorganisms are mentioned and their natures are described for three if only one is mentioned and their nature is described for two if the names are mentioned for one if only one is mentioned for b question roles of these two microorganisms in creating health hazards this is also a four marks question if two roles of each of the two microorganisms in creating health hazards are accurately explained and for three marks if two rules of one microorganism and one role of another microorganism in creating health hazards are accurately explained for two marks if one of the each of the two organ, microorganisms in creating health hazards is accurately explained for one mark if ro one role of one microorganism is accurately explained for let's go to the c question preventive measures against against health hazards by cost by microorganism for four marks if four measures are accurately explained for three marks if three for two two for one one measure now we'll go through the d question role in creating awareness to avoid health hazards caused by microorganism for four marks if at least four roles are accurately explained for three three roles for two two roles for one one roles so now marks allocate for assignment is 16 so st students this is your assessment rubrics and this is the assignment science now we'll go through the next assignment so students this is your another assignment bgs so let's start assignment number one chapter one liberation movement of bangladesh assignment title political events 1950 to 1970 an analysis of the importance of the political events since the language movement to the national election in 1970. Learning outcomes. Students will be able to explain the events of the language movement, the achievement of Bengalis through the United Front, Six Points Movement, the events and importance of mass upsurge of 1969, the landslide victory in the election of 1970. So students, these, these are the learning outcomes. Now uh, we'll go through the guidelines. The assignment should include the following points: a retrieval and sequential presentation on the important political events from 1950 to 1970. Number b a sequential description of an event selected from the table. Number c an explanation of why those events are important in our national life. Then the following aspects should be included in the explanation: rise of the Bengali nationalism. Elimination of economic disparity, movement for autonomy, <clears throat> political victory. So, assignment, it is, we have showed the guidelines. Now, we will go through the assignment criteria or rubrics. Here, indicator A, mentioning of the events based on years. If five events can be mentioned, for three marks, four events, for two marks, three events, for one mark, one or two events. Then for B question, sequential description of the selected event. This is also a four mark question. A students could sequentially describe the whole event according to the textbook. For three marks, a students could describe the events according to the textbook. However, it is non sequential. Here there is no two marking or one marking. This is a three or four and zero marking. Now we'll go to the C question. Importance of the selected events. The selected events could be explained. 
the rise of bengali nationalism elimination of economic disparity the movement of for autonomy the significance for the political victory and if the selected events can be mentioned uh, but any three of the four have been explained for two marks if the selected event could be explained but any two of the four for one mark any one of the four so total assignment marks for the assignment is 10 so students this is your Bangladesh and global studies assignment so let's go to the next assignment so students this is your english assignment i have already talked about it in the in the assignment given before in the bangla version but for the betterment i am giving i am describing it again so assignment number one assignment with title writing an informal letter to a friend inviting her or him to attend your birthday party with a map that shows the way to your home so we can see the learning outcomes are students will be able to follow instructions commands request announcement and act accordingly write informal letters for for the measurement here it is given unit one attention please english for today so now we can see guidelines for writing assignment steps or stages please note you have to write to a friend who lives in another district now you have to sketch a map from the nearest bus train launch station to your home mention the turning points and road names describe the instructions from the station to your home mention features of an informal letter heading greeting solution body complimentary closing envelope with address go to page 19 197 or 243 of your English grammar and composition textbook. So students, this is the guidelines for the assignment. Now we will go through the assignment criteria or rubrics. Number A. Map sketching. For 4 marks, if all the key points and roles names are rightly mentioned. For 3, if 1 or 2 points are not clear. For 2, if some key points are rightly mentioned. For 1, if few key and road names are Haphazardly mentioned. Now for B equation, description of map. For four marks, the description is clear. For three, mostly clear. For two, clear to some extent. For one, hardly clear. Now for C equation, futures of an informal letter, heading, greeting, selection, body, complimentary, closing, envelope with address. For more four marks, all futures with content body are clearly mentioned. For three, mostly clear. For two, clear to some extent. For one, hardly clear. Now for D question, accuracy, grammar and punctuation. For four marks, sentences are grammatically correct with punctuation. For three marks, most of the sentences are grammatically correct with punctuation. For two marks, some of the sentences are grammatically correct with punctuation. For one, few sentences are correct. So, this is the assignment rubrics and assignment number for the assignment is 16. So, students, this is your English assignment. So students, hope you liked the video. If you like the video, then like, comment, and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, subscribe our channel. That's all for today. Hope to see you in my next video. Assalamualaikum.